Hi, I'm Jack Dugan, Certified Financial Planner and Senior Investment Advisor for Pure Financial Advisors. And welcome to the question of the week. The question of the week this week is, can you explain to me the deductions that are on my paycheck? Well, it's kind of interesting because when you see your paycheck, there's that big number up at the top of the paycheck, and then by the time you get down to what you get to actually put in the bank, it's a lot smaller. Well, let's see what happens to that paycheck. It starts off with one of the first things is what's known as FICA tax, and that's a Federal Insurance Contribution Act. And this was an act that they passed to fund Social Security. There's nothing you can do about that tax. That's going to stay with you all the way up until you make $118,500. Once you reach that level, then that tax is no longer taken out on your paychecks. So sometimes if you have a high wage earner and they get over that amount, they wonder, well, how come my pay went up? It's because of the fact that you no longer have to pay the FICA tax. The second tax that you're responsible for is also Medicare tax and that's a 1.45% of your gross pay. That happens no matter how much money you make. You will always pay that Medicare tax. Another tax that we're familiar with is the federal withholding. This tax is based on how you completed your W-4 form that you submitted to your employer. So if you think back, you put down that either you were single or you were married and how many dependents you have. Well, that's how the payroll calculates how much tax is going to be withheld. So if somebody says, you know, I love getting that big bonus check at the end of the year because they've withheld too much money and I get a uh, check back come April 15th, well then they're taking too much money out of your paycheck. If you wanted to reduce that, what you would do was you would increase your deduction. So instead of being married zero, maybe you'd go to married with two. So that's a way you can kind of manipulate that. But don't get caught about not having enough money come out because then at the end of the year, you're going to have to make a payment to the IRS. The fourth tax that comes out is the state tax. And depending upon what state you live on, that's the same thing. It's estimated on what your exemptions are and what your filing status is. So if you want to have more money taken out of your paycheck, reduce the amount of exemptions that you have. If you want to have less money take out of your paycheck, increase the exemptions. So there's a couple of ways that you can manipulate your, your take-home pay, but remember the bottom line is you're going to have to pay the tax or you're going to get money back at the end of the year. There's also a lot of other multiple voluntary deductions that we have. Hopefully you're contributing to your 401k, that's a deduction. There may be health insurance contributions that you're making, but all those things go into understanding what your overall net pay is and how it's derived. I'm Jack Dugan and I hope you enjoyed Question of the Week.